Welcome back. In this lecture, we're starting after we've installed Ubuntu. We've got Odoo 9 up and running. We've even installed and created a test database with some demonstration data that we can click on and make sure that everything's working like it should. So we've successfully got a working version of Odoo. One of the first things that you're going to need to understand how to do by clicking on this terminal here and we'll be able to see all the different things that have happened. Let me click back on it again. It can be tricky to get there all the time. Is I can now stop this server from running by hitting control C. And so at this point you'll see we're back at a terminal prompt here but if I go to anywhere in Odoo it's just going to say trying to connect. So the server is no longer running. I can click back on the terminal, hit my up arrow, and it brings me back to that dot forward slash odoo.py, and I can restart the server. So this is a very fast way for us to stop and start the server while, while we are developing. So now the server is running, I can go back here and use odoo. So it's as simple as that. Control C to stop it, server stopped might have to hit it twice and then up arrow and dot slash odoo dot py to rerun the server so we're we're able now to stop and start the server and it works the same way if you have to restart the entire Ubuntu server all you need to do is go into this directory the odoo slash odoo 9 and start your server here and for development purposes I'm sorry for development purposes, this is perfectly acceptable to get started with at starting your server. So now that we've got our test database, let's go ahead and jump and log out and create a database that we're going to use. It's going to be more of a blank database for our customizing of Odoo and understanding how we can modify Odoo. Now, there's going to be a lot of reasons, and you've probably got your own right now if you're watching this video, of something you want to customize in Odoo. Well, one of the common areas of customization that I've faced is, is a lot of times around the products because products can vary and the customer experience can vary depending upon your business requirements. That's where you're going to see the most benefit from customization often is in making the experience better for the customers. So, for example, in our Odoo class videos, um, in Odoo class, we have a Odoo installation that has been customized for videos. And so we can pull up videos, see the video, and from here, once someone's logged in, they're actually able to watch videos in Odoo class. If your business is say for a veterinary clinic you might need to collect the breed of the animal you know is it is it a dog and if if it's a dog what kind of dog a is, is it a dachshund is it a golden retriever those are the kinds of data that isn't in the stock version of Odoo so you're going to want to add them so we looked for a business requirement an example that, that would be a real-life business example and the way we're gonna do that is we can go here and look at a site and I accidentally hit that we can hit a site called diet facts and what diet facts is is a nutritional site that has all kinds of different products so if I click on this Oscar Mayer, Mayer deli fresh you'll notice that we have the name of a product up here for right we also can have like a slogan for the product but down here there's a lot of extra information that's just not going to be available in a stock version of Odoo we have the, the, how many calories are associated with this particular product we have a serving size we also have various nutrients like sodium and cholesterol and fat and um, None of this is part of the built-in version of, of Odoo. So what we're going to use is this business example of how, first off, we can extend our products to collect more information, which will be a common requirement that you might face with Odoo. 
And then we're going to look at how we can even take these products and create menus or meals out of them so you can keep track of various dietary information. So it's going to be an example that will start out simple, but we'll be able to extend on it with more advanced Odoo development topics. So with that introduction to the, the business example as we are going to expand this, let's go ahead and create a database called Diet Facts. So we create a database and we give it a name and this time we're not going to load demonstration data. We're going to want to keep it kind of clean so that we can have the data in here that we need. So one of the things that we're going to want right away is that we know that at some point we're going to want to take sales, we're going to manage uh, sales through the website, but also in order to have products and something to build off of, we're going to go ahead and install sales management. So we click install and install our sales management application. So unlike the application where we had loaded demonstration data, this time we're going to have no sales orders in and no products in the system, no customers in the system. So everything's empty. And what we're really going to begin with in our next video is looking at how the framework fits together, what are models in Odoo, what are views, how does, how does Odoo kind of fit together. So in our next video, we're going to take a look at the debug mode and start to get an idea of how Odoo fits together underneath. How does the framework fit together to, to provide an Odoo application?